Good morning, I'm Pastor Jason, back again here with the Baptist Catechism. This morning we're looking at question six. Question six of the Baptist Catechism is this, may all men make use of the scriptures? May all men make use of the scriptures? The answer, all men are not only permitted, but commanded and exhorted to read, to hear, and to understand the scriptures. Now, whether people understand who Jesus is or they believe or not, all men may make use of the scriptures. The scriptures are there for everybody. Well, what does the Bible have to say for it? John chapter 5, verse 39 says this. Jesus is speaking to the Pharisees. He says, search the scriptures, for in them you think you have eternal life, and they are those which testify of me. Jesus himself is saying that the Bible testified of him. Specifically for Jesus' day, the Old Testament. So we can make great use of the Old Testament to understand who Jesus is and the reason why he came. They were Jesus was encouraging the Pharisees, yes, to read the scriptures because the scriptures testified of who Jesus was. Luke chapter 16, verse 29 says this, Abraham said unto him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. Abraham was in the story that Jesus was telling. Abraham was in, in the, the place of rest and in the afterlife. And the rich man was in the place of death in the afterlife. And he wanted Abraham to send somebody back from the dead to go speak to his brothers so that they would not end up in the place that this rich man ended up. And Abraham's response was, they need to read the scriptures because in them, they have enough. Let them hear. Mo they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. So even if we read simply the Old Testament, it will tell us of the many ways that we have sinned and how we can be saved through the coming Savior in that day, who was Jesus. And we can look at all of that. We have all the entire Bible. People who who are in in hell right now or would wish that people would read the Bible so that they don't end up in the place where they're at. One more, a couple, a couple more passages here. Acts chapter 8, verses 28 through 30 says this, 27, He arose and went, and went, behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, the queen of Ethiopians, who had charge of all the treasury, had come to Jerusalem to worship, and was returning and sitting in his chariot, reading Isaiah the prophet. Then the spirit said to Philip, Go near and join yourself to this chariot. And Philip ran them to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Unders Do you understand what you were reading? And he said, How can I except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he should come up and sit with him. And so Philip was walking. Uh, the Lord had directed him to go down a, a road. And there was a eunuch, uh, a high-ranking official from the Ethiopians who was returning from Jerusalem. And he was reading from prophet, the Isaiah the prophet. He didn't necessarily even understand what it says. The Bible says here, how could he understand it so, unless someone guides him? And so even people who don't have any knowledge of God would benefit from reading the Word of God. Philip explained to, to him the Word of God that day from Isaiah the prophet in the Old Testament. That man believed on Jesus and he was saved and born again and Philip baptized him. So he made use of the scripture. <clears throat> One more passage here in the book of Acts. Acts chapter 17 verse 11 says this, These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, that in that they received the word of God with all readiness and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. Philip uh, and Paul and Silas had gone to Berea and they were teaching the word of God. And the men in Berea were of such noble character that they not only really listened to what Paul and Silas had to say, but they went back into the scriptures of the Old Testament and they verified whether or not Paul and Silas were teaching the truth. That's the responsibility of all of us, is to make use of the Scriptures. We should read the Bible, we should understand what it says, and we should make use of it. The question, may all men make use of the Scripture? The answer, all men are not only permitted, but commanded and exhorted to read, to hear, and to understand the Scriptures.